Today is my first day at my new job. I really can't believe that this is my life. This is, <laughs> why am I crying? I'm packing for my first work trip. This isn't my first time starting a job that's completely remote, but I gotta say it continues to be kind of weird just because there's, you would think that there would be less pressure on you because you don't have to get up early and get ready and go into an office and meet a bunch of people in person. But at the same time, you feel that same urge to get up early and get ready and be standing by your computer when in reality on the first day, there are very few instances where people are going to be throwing massive projects your way. Like, it really is a much nicer intro, but it still holds that type of pressure. It's a very weird feeling. I've always been a really big believer in the phrase, look good, feel good. Because in my world, when I look good and I feel good, I perform well. I remember when I was in high school and I had really big exams, I would never come into that exam wearing like a sweatshirt and leggings. Anytime I had a really big test, especially one that I was nervous for, I would wake up super early that morning, get fully ready, wear like an outfit that I loved because I felt that if I did that, I would do better on the test. And whether or not that was true was simply up to the class that I was taking, but it definitely acts as a bit more of a mental thing for me. And it's something that I've continued to do as I've gotten older. Today is my first day at my new job. And I keep on wanting to say that I'm nervous, but in reality, I don't think I am. I remember being nervous on the first day of my last job, but I think in this one, I feel a little bit more at peace and definitely more confident in my abilities. I also think it helps that this is my second job that I'm starting remotely, so I kind of know the ins and the outs of how things are gonna go, but definitely have a little bit of nervous energy, I would say, and I'm just really looking forward to this next chapter, so I'm going to be vlogging this entire first week and telling you guys how it goes, but I have a feeling it's going to go pretty well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's a lot of newness going on in my life right now, and I want you to be a part of all of it. Let's go make a coffee. Thank you. You look so cute. Thanks. I figured I should just like... I'm gonna put on like a normal top, obviously, but I was like, I'm halfway there, I might as well put on <laughs> jeans. I posted a little picture on my Instagram story of me in the mirror just saying it was my first day and you guys are blowing up my DMs just saying that you're proud of me and wishing me luck and I'm just so grateful for you guys every single day and I feel like every time I look down at my phone it's either somebody DMing me or somebody texting me but just now I got an email from a representative at a really big brand honestly that I was supposed to work with this week um, but wasn't able to because I was starting this job and I let them know that today was my first day and I just wasn't going to be able to make it work and they just responded back to my email saying that it was totally fine they appreciate my transparency and wishing me luck on my first day <laughs> like why is that so cute also as a complete side note i have officially perfected my at-home coffee recipe and because of that i haven't really purchased coffee out in like three weeks with the exception of i think one day where i treated myself but i learned how to make the starbucks iced brown sugar shaken espresso at home and it is such a game changer it literally tastes like what i would get at starbucks sometimes even better and it's just saving me so much money so i made my coffee this morning it is about 5 2 right now like 5 2 the hour it's 9 55 and i have my first meeting of the day at 10. and that officially wraps up my first day at my new job and it was so great honestly sometimes you have to be a little bit nervous starting a new job obviously for a bunch of reasons but I find that 
a lot of people have had the experience where during the interview process a job can come across as one way and they can depict their company culture to be a certain thing and then once you start the job it's like complete opposite that's like horror stories that you hear and during the interview process for this job the team seemed very tight-knit and it just seemed like a group of like really ambitious great young people and i can confirm after my first day that it is exactly that like everyone was so nice and so welcoming and i'm just excited like obviously my calendar right now is pretty blank because who's gonna throw a huge project at the new girl not these people but i'm like excited to hit the ground running i like actually am and it's just wild what happens when you're genuinely interested in what you're doing because I don't know, I just feel like there's a fire under my ass right now, which is the greatest feeling in the world when you're starting a new job. So I'm feeling really good, first day down. And during my lunch break, I went and took a little walk because it was literally like 80 degrees outside today. It was so beautiful. And when I went downstairs, there was a package waiting for me. And this is very exciting. The influencer marketing team over at Kosas hooked me up because they know that I'm going on a trip in a few weeks and they wanted to send me some makeup that would be good for just like everyday wear. And I have enough products right now to do a full face of Kosas. So I think I'm gonna do that over on my TikTok when I go on my trip, but I am just so incredibly happy. Like I am, I'm stocked for life. I don't need anything else. This meal is everything to me right now. I've been craving a burger all day and I decided to treat myself for my first day by trying a new place that recently opened up around me. It's called Smashed and they supposedly have fantastic burgers. So picked up some dinner from there and I'm also gonna rewatch The Summer I Turned Pretty because there is no show that gets me more in the mood for summer than this. So I figured let's rewatch before they release the second season in July. of my new job was a success. There really wasn't much to vlog for you guys because in reality, I did not leave my bed the entire day. I wasn't like in bed, obviously, but I was sitting on top of my bed. Realistically, I should be standing at my dresser because it's definitely more suited for a workspace, but my back starts to hurt and I just kind of want to sit down. So I was sitting on my bed pretty much all day, but I guess for highlights of the day, I met the client today, which is a big deal. And I was kind of like just making a little appearance on their weekly call and they seem really nice, so that's cool. And then I also was able to help out some of the people on my team with some work that they needed help on. So I don't know, I just like making myself useful, especially in the beginning, because I also think it helps you meet people and earn people's trust in the long run. So definitely a good day. I feel like we're going strong. And now it is a little past six. So the work day has wrapped up and I'm actually going to a concert tonight. I'm super excited. The band that I'm seeing is called New West. I've been listening to their music since 2020 and more recently, one of their songs have gone viral on TikTok. It's called Those Eyes. I feel like a lot of you guys might've heard it through that, but I love their music so much and they're performing at Bowery Ballroom. So I'm going with my best friend Bridget and it's gonna be so much fun. Maybe tonight's concert was part of a bigger tour that they were doing, but it turns out it isn't. I'm pretty sure they're only doing two shows in Toronto, one in LA and then one in New York. So they haven't published a set list anywhere, at least that I can find, and nobody's made a Spotify playlist for it. So instead of listening to the official set list like I normally do for concerts, I'm just listening to their entire discography. I actually have a public playlist on my Spotify for you guys to check out if you want with all of their music. I'm just such a big fan for the most part, all of their songs are love songs but they just have such beautiful voices and I'm actually really excited to see them live. I feel like bands like this can either be even better live or kind of not as good so updates to come on that one. Now that I look at the time it's only seven o'clock and I feel like that leaves me enough time to walk down to the venue as opposed to taking an uber so maybe I'll just head out now get some steps in and listen to their music as I'm on my way down there and I don't know, I'm just so excited. It was on my New Year's resolutions list to go to more concerts and the Lizzie McAlpine concert that I went to last week was very spontaneous. This one I've had planned for a while, but regardless, it feels good to check things off of a New Year's resolution list. It really does. Thank you. 
Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, um, that was. No, that was <gasps> unbelievable. <laughs> I was telling Bridget before we went in, I was kind of nervous what they were going to be like live. Because sometimes artists just like aren't as, they were, they were better. Oh my God. They were unbelievable. I mean, I personally did not know them. Yeah, and Bridget didn't know any of the music yet. She was I, just like vibing the, the entire time. The time, I was like grabbing Danny's arm and I was like, you're so smart. <laughs> oh God. And at one point they played a song. They were like, this is for all of our day ones. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to know the song. New, it, like it's my favorite song of theirs. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. My God. That was, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> because I already listened to their music day in and day out as it is. After going and seeing New West in concert, I'd be able to give it a little bit of a break. And yet it's actually done the opposite. We're like all morning, that's all I've wanted to listen to. And yesterday when I got back from the concert and I was getting ready for bed, I started listening to their music more. It was just such a good show. And I'm so grateful that Bridget came with me because she did not know any of their music whatsoever, but she's just like such a hype girl. She shows up anywhere she goes with like so much energy and I mean that's why she's my best friend like I'm just so I'm just so happy that she came with me we had such an amazing time but today is Wednesday and it's actually a really exciting work day because I'm gonna be working in person with some of the people on my team at a coffee shop down in Soho at the moment we don't have a New York office space I think that's in the works and it should be a thing within the near future it also makes me so happy to say we like I, that's a personal thing but just like in conversation being able to say we are doing this feels really cool anyway um so because we don't have an official office space but there are some members of the team that are now based in new york and also some people who are located elsewhere visiting new york this week we decided it might be fun to all meet at a coffee shop and work together for the day and I'm just so excited. I think this is one thing that I didn't realize that I missed so much that I had in previous work experiences, but more so my previous internships, the idea of working with a team. My previous role was pretty individual. Like I just like did all of my work myself with my clients um, and with the help of my manager, but like I didn't really work with a team as much as I am in this job. And it feels really good. So that's the plan for today. I just finished packing up my tote bag. This is the bag that I've been using for every job that I've ever worked since like 2017, 2018. Goes with me everywhere. It's from Tory Burch and it's just like so sturdy. I love this thing so much. So I'm gonna head out and go meet the team, but I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave. So happy to be getting back to the work outfit of the days. I love that little segment on my channel, so happy to be bringing it back. My outfit today is pretty simple. Bodysuits from Bershka. My black trousers are from Zara. I want to throw on a little something over my shoulders, so I'm just wearing this white button down from Banana Republic. And then, of course, the star of the show are my shoes that I bought to celebrate getting this job that I've been living in, to be honest. So here's my fit. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna head out now and go meet the team. Wish me luck. coming to you with I guess a little bit of an update what you guys just watched was a really good bit of my first week of work and that first week was amazing and it was filled with just a lot of me getting comfortable and me meeting people and honestly it was like pretty chill but since then my job has escalated in the best way possible I've been introduced to the aspects of my job that I enjoy the most and I've been having a really really great time if you guys follow me on Instagram you're the first to see all of these things so I definitely encourage you guys to follow me on Instagram but these next few clips that I'm going to show you are a little taste of what I have been introduced to in this job and my next video is going to include a whole lot more of this my next video is going to be really really great so I hope you guys are excited but yeah, I just wanted to give a little bit of an explanation there so it doesn't look like I'm just like really being thrown into the ring of fire. I promise there's a little bit more of a build up, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Things in my life are off the walls insane right now. Like I feel like I am being pulled in a million directions and in the best way possible. And I'm just, 
I'm just so happy that I'm now in the position where I can share some of these things with you guys. First, to address the voice, I don't really know what's going on here. I woke up this morning and I sounded like this, and I'm hoping within the next two days it kind of goes back to normal because this is a lot to deal with. But today, I'm packing for my first work trip, and I'm going to California. I'm not kidding when I tell you that I found out about this an hour ago. And here I am on my floor packing with the very minimal things that I have. I hadn't even done laundry. I just ran down to the laundromat to drop off my stuff in hopes that it'll be done by like 7 p.m. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but like I'm going on my first ever work trip. I feel like such an adult. These are things that I grew up watching my mom do when I was younger. And now that I'm in the position to be traveling for work, like it kind of doesn't really feel real, but I'm really excited. Today's the big day, and this is the best my voice has sounded in a very long time, so I think things are turning around. Of course, I got my Canes merch. On the back it says Canes Crew, I believe, and we are ready for a big drive through day with a very special guest. And then went down to the Raising Canes location where we had a drive through shoot with Ariana from Vanderpump Rules. 